Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time what I am going to do is, as you can see in the screen, there are two teams of uh, characters here, the red team and the blue team. And my character, that means the player character, also will belong to the red team. And so therefore, these red guys will be my allies and these blue guys will be my enemies. So that red and blue guys, even the NPC character, characters will fight each other. So let's see the demonstration. Okay, two guys are coming to me because they saw me first. And actually I'll stay away until they fight each other. Uh, for the moment I haven't implemented any kind of a system that remains blocked like pairs but they just fight freely each other and as you can see at the moment this looks a little glitchy especially about the rotations but this is good for a start all right so let's get started and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me also if you want to support my work or you can get the membership of my patreon club and based on your membership you will have the privilege to access the project files and also you can ask me questions there right so let's get back to the tutorial okay so the first problem that I am having is that uh, these enemies have the same team as I have defined here the team number is one but this happens when I start playing the game they, yeah, they identify me or the red character as the enemy but once they attack they attack each other so something is wrong with my attacking so that's the first problem I'm going to solve in order to implement this team based or faction based fighting system right actually for that problem just happened I can't find a particular reason uh, so therefore uh, the only possibility I think is when for some reason if this ch variable is not initialized then in that case I think we may get the default value for this number I'm not sure so therefore I do something like this just to be safe this is uh, yeah so right so after that what we should do is in order to make two enemies fight each other we should change this uh, this team number their team number we should give two different team numbers so let's try uh, first let me check if I can access that variable from the details panel uh, it should be under fight team let's see it's not accessible here so therefore I have to make where is that yeah I have to make this I enable so that it would be public and I should be able to see here right now I can see that so just to be clear instead of this blue color I'll give this guy another color so I can do it right here no I shouldn't give the cube material I should give the M my enemy this is the blue one and where's the red one okay night mat
right now he will have this why isn't this compiled okay it is no what is my characters yeah this one so I can give that here okay now this enemy these two enemies have two different colors that's just for demonstration purposes and here I'll give this guy team number one and this guy team number two now let's see how they react right now they are fighting each other and I am a third party as well so therefore they can attack each other and also they will can attack me because my team number is minus one right and so now to make it more interesting let's see what is my team number right my team number is minus one so i'll make my team to two so that all the red characters will be two now this red guy should be my ally and this blue guy is my enemy so let's multiply them this is just an experiment okay now these guys are focused on me and yeah right so here I have a problem why can't I attack them right so now as you can see they are fighting each other we have some problems yes but this is good for a start and he's not hitting me for some reason why is that yeah the problem is this here I have this locked enemy variable and when I check attacks or check hits it checks against that locked enemy variable and here I get the closest enemy only if I don't have a valid closest enemy variable at the moment so I think this is the problem that I am not getting hits even when I am the closest enemy so what I have to do is I have to skip this part now it should work and let's check and this time let's put two of uh, the other red guys as well okay now they are engaged and yeah use yeah now they will attacking each other right one is dead Here it's kill that guy too. 
okay so I guess that's all actually to implement this team based fighting system I didn't have to do much that's because I have already implemented the required variables and teams and everything uh, I had already implemented them so therefore all I had to do is changing the team number but the only things I had to do was these smaller stuff like fixing bugs and I think that's all I wanted to do for today and alright so see you in the next episode goodbye